Hello friends, let us start about the SSL protocol which is a transport layer security protocol and analyze it using the Wireshark tool. So for downloading the Wireshark on any of your operating system like Windows and Linux, you can go to wireshark.org and uh, on that download, uh, click on the download button, you can see the Windows and installers and another installers which are available. Now after downloading the Wireshark, you are supposed to capture the traffic. So therefore I will first open the Wireshark tool and which is downloaded just now and run as administrator. So when you run, run as administrator, first you have to capture the capture the traffic and then you are supposed to uh, enter the capture filter over there. So there are so many filters which are uh, available right now. You can add your own filter. Uh, like I have added just now TLS IP address. So you have to give the IP address of which particular host name you want to capture the traffic. So for example, if I want to capture uh, add a one add one of the filter, I have to click on this button and you can add the filter over here. Like I have added here TLS. So if I will give TLS, you can add the filter in that case. So right now I have added it. Now after that uh, capturing of the traffic, you can go through the protocols which are seen in this Wireshark tool. Like uh, uh, there are so many protocols uh, which are seen right now. Uh, we are supposed to see about the TLS. So first we will go to the TLS protocol. And uh, you can edit the uh, keys or uh, edit the key files which are there for the TLS. Now in the TLS, so you can see the TLS protocol. So TLS is a enhanced or more secure version of the SSL. So we are in, in short, we are learning about the SSL only. So when you are supposed to, uh, yeah, so it is called as a transport layer security. You can see over here. Now you, if you want to edit the preferences, you can see the IP address, port, protocol, key file, and the password. So if I am supposed to add the IP address, I can add the IP address over here, my IP address. The port number, which is the uh, 443 for it. And the protocol, which is uh, protocol, which is HTTP. And then the key file and the password, which you are supposed to give. Now, this is the way in which you are going to edit the preferences of that. Right now, I am going to capture the filter. So, for capturing of the filter, I will start with the uh, capturing of the filter. So, I will capture it. So, that you can click on this button or you can start it. Now, after uh, capturing the filter, so you can see it will start with the capturing of the filter. Now, uh, capturing of the various protocols or uh, traffic and uh, analysis which is being carried out. So, here you can see TLS version 1.2. And uh, TLS version 1.2 is there, then TCP, UDP, and so on. So these all particular are the protocols which are being captured by the traffic in the destination, so from the source to the destination, which are there. Now, suppose that I want to uh, now start with the uh, browsing of the website. So I will start with www. Any of the website you can go through. Suppose that w3. Org. This particular website, I am going to browse it right now and I will click on any of the link which are available and it will show me the captured traffic which is there. Now it is TLS version 1.2, it is using uh, for uh, uh, in the traffic. So first we will see about how this particular capture uh, capturing of the traffic is being done. So in this IP address I have to provide for example here the IP address which is 192 here yeah, I will type my IP address over here and it will start on to showing the particular um, uh, capture traffic and the TLS TLS version of it. So when you will type TLS in this filter and you will press enter button, you can see the protocol which is TLS version 1.2 which is uh, seen in the window. Now 
first the client hello message which will be sent from the source to the destination that is from the client to the server that the client hello message is to establish the security capabilities so which is the phase one in the uh, ssl handshake now the handshake is established between the client and server to negotiate the capabilities of the client and the server so there they will mutually agree upon the uh, cipher suit which is there so cipher suit is nothing but a set of the cryptographic algorithms now this particular client hello message which will be having uh, various uh, things like you can see here transport layer security tls version 1.2 record layer so in the, it is happening in the record layer about uh, in the handshake protocol as client hello message now content type is handshake message version is tls1 and length is 201 now handshake protocol in this handshake type is seen then version is being seen then it consists of all these particular parameters which are available like random session id cipher suit length etc now cipher suits also can be seen so these are the all uh, cryptographic algorithms which are supported by the client it is telling to the server now the compression methods are also used and the uh, extensions etc these are all the client this is all the client client hello message which will send by, from the client to the server now the application data which will be received from the client to the server now after that um, there will be a message which will be called as a server hello message now the server hello message this is also happening in the phase one where the server will say hello to the client now cli initially client has said send a client hello message to the server now server will send it to the client now it consists of server hello certificate certificate sta status and uh, server key exchange all this uh, message consists of now you can see over here this is a handshake protocol server key exchange server key exchange which is shown over there then it is using ec dflman uh, server parameters now you can see go through these parameters also which are their signature algorithm and signature which are being used the public key length is being specified and it is a handshake protocol which is using server hello done now server hello is completed over here so that is establishing of the security capabilities is over when the server hello will be sending now server will also send his own certificate server may send his certificate and the key exchange over there right now it is sending the uh, key server key action after the server certificate and the server key exchange is being done and server hello is completed now client key exchange will be carried out so now what is client key exchange that is client sends the certificate if it is requested by the server now client sends the key exchange client may also send the certificate verification so client key exchange and change cipher spec this particular message is very important wherein the negotiation of the cipher suit which will be carried out and encrypted hand handshake message which will be sent in the version now you can see here in this case again change cipher spec the content type there are three particular fields in that content type version and the length and the change cipher spec message uh, encrypted message will, will be also having content type version and the length and encrypted handshake message so this is all about the tls version uh, third phase which is there so there are total four phases in this that is phase one is client hello server hello phase two is server send his own server send his own certificate and key exchange and request the certificate of the client now client will do the client uh, key exchange and change cipher spec and the and send the encrypted handshake message after that the chain the fourth phase is nothing but the change cipher suit is being carried out that is why change cipher spec message is being used over there so now this change uh, change cipher spec it is nothing but changing of the cipher suit and finish the handshake protocol so this is the completion of the handshake protocol which is there now encrypted handshake message and the change cipher spec message this is being sent by the client to the server and server in turn will be sending it to the uh, client over there so this is uh, all about the handshake protocol i hope that you have understood the handshake protocol using the wireshark and how to capture the traffic of the ssl protocol using wireshark thank you